Polynovo uh, spun out of the CSIRO in 2004. Um, our first product to market is what we call the BTM, which is biodegradable temporizing matrix. So it regenerates a layer of your skin if you've lost that through trauma, surgery or burns. The polyurethane itself has a unique safety profile, which is why regulators are like our product. And the results we get with patients is extraordinary. And uh, this is a really exciting time for us as we commercialise now in the US. Well, Novasorb is the name of our polymer as the base material. Our Novapore is the name we give to our foam base. Uh, the foam base forms a scaffold or matrix uh, within the BTM. Traditionally or currently in the market, um, matrices are made of animal byproducts or human tissue uh, that's denaturated. We're unique in having a 100% synthetic product. And what that does is enable uh, use in, of the matrix in areas such as burn, and surgical wounds where traditionally the biological products either struggle um, or are too expensive to be applied. The BTM has um, had a long development process as you'd expect if it's going to be um, implanted into a person. Um, there's been over 40 patients uh, done with what's called a free flap um, repair of their forearm and also nine major burn cases in Adelaide. And then there's another five patients have been done so far in the CMARC trial. And we'll be starting our US trials in June in uh, the US burn centres. So the BTM is quite radical in regenerating the dermis layer of the skin and uh, resulting in minimal scarring um, and a good cosmetic and functional outcome for our patients. We've got a platform of products based on the Novazorb technologies, but the first one is the BTM, and that is now available for sale in the US market. Um, we just need to appoint a, a distributor in the US, and we're working through that process at the moment. And likewise, we have other markets such as New Zealand and South Africa that will be coming online shortly as well. Um, so that's our first commercial product. Soon, as in within the next few years, we should have our wrestling uh, repair product and our hernia product entering a commercialisation phase. We're still at prototype phase for those products. So we've got a long pipeline of products uh, to develop over the next 10 years, and we've got a very bright future. Other applications for our product are in the range of orthopaedics, where we have an uh, agreement with Smith & Nephew, a large orthopaedic company globally, and um, that's for bone void filling. Uh, then we're developing other products, as I said, in wrestling hernia, uh, looking at a 3D breast form, and also looking at um, pelvic floor repair. And we might be entering um, some more animal studies on antimicrobial eluting polymer coatings for implantable devices. Yeah, very busy uh, past 12 months with uh, capital raising. Uh, last year, we've uh, currently uh, got $11.5 million in the bank, so we've got cash flow through to 2018 um, without revenue, but we do anticipate um, commercial revenues to start before then. And our market cap is around $160.8 million um, at the moment. So uh, we're in a good financial position and on the cusp of um, achieving our commercial revenues. We anticipate being cash flow positive within the next 12 months. As we commercialise into the US, uh, we're anticipating getting um, cash at the time of uh, appointing a partner and then commercial revenues from sale of products which we'll make in Port Melbourne. This time next year, uh, Polynovo will hopefully have a, a very robust uh, commercial stream coming through for demand for our BTM from um, surgeons across uh, the US market, plus we'll be in um, more than three other markets around the world and we hope to be in a position where our dermal matrix is really transforming uh, the dermal space and regeneration technologies.